you texting? Paul? Don't. Here you go, one sugar, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah. Look, I think you should go. I'm sorry about what I said. I, I, it was just, I was worried. It's no excuse. Gemma, please believe me. Oh, I... I believe you. I believe you are right. I believe you wanted me out of the picture so that you could swoop in and play rescue and take Joseph away from me. No, that is not true. It is. You don't like me. You've never liked me. You look down your nose at me and you think that I'm common and I'm not good enough to bring up your precious grandson. Well, I am the only one that took his symptoms seriously. And if any one of you would listen to me, you won't be in there now, unable to walk. I am truly sorry. I... It's too late. Just leave. Would you like me to pick up the cords? No. I want Billy and Paul to mind them. Please, call me if there's any news. Can we go and see him now? He's still very drowsy, but yes, you can come and sit with him for a while. I'm sorry, Jim. I should have believed you. You made me think I was going mad. You made Joseph think I was going mad and all the time he was really ill. I knew how anxious you were about Paul and how depressed you've been. Which is a perfectly normal reaction to the fact he's dying. I know. I thought maybe Joseph had picked up on how you were you feeling. You thought that I was putting thoughts in his head, making him think that he was ill when he wasn't, but he was. And now he's lying here because you found it easier to believe that I was off my head or a bad man or both. I never thought you was a bad man. Just off my head? No. Wish my mum was here. She'd have stuck up for me. I've missed her. I don't know you have. And to go through all this with no support? You thinking that I'm bonkers and a liar? Please forgive me, Jem. I don't know if I can. <laughs> 